Hi guys, in this video we'll be talking about the structure of the brain, the cerebrum, the cerebellum and the medulla oblongata. And finally, a summary. So let's talk about the brain. Well, the brain is one of the most important organs in your body. It processes a lot of information and helps you produce an appropriate response. So now let's talk about the structure of the brain. Well, the brain, along with the spinal cord, is part of the central nervous system, or CNS. And the brain is made up of a complex network of billions of neurons. As the brain is so complicated, it's hard to tell what part of the brain controls what. Well, the role of the brain is to control and coordinate all complex behaviours. And this includes things like sleeping and running, revision, what you're doing now, and playing the piano. So what it actually does is that it processes this information from receptor cells and the hormonal system to produce an appropriate coordinated response. Neuronal communication through nerves is very fast and this is because neurons are all together in a tightly knit network. And this is why your brain can process information really fast. Now let's talk about the different regions of the brain. So the different regions actually carry out different functions. So one part of the brain is this outer wrinkly layer and this is the cerebral cortex. Another part of your brain is the cerebellum and it's found at the back of your brain. At the base of your brain, there's something called a medulla oblongata. Your brain also has a gland and this is called the pituitary gland. Finally, another area of your brain is the hypothalamus. And we'll go through these structures in this video. So first of all, let's talk about the cerebral cortex or cerebrum. Well, this is the outer layer of the brain. In this diagram, it's shown as this layer here. As you can see, it looks a bit wrinkly, and this is because it's full of crevasses, and that means it has a large total surface area in a small volume. It also has two hemispheres. The right hemisphere controls the left side of the body. So in this diagram, this is the right side of the brain. This part controls the left side of the body. The left side of the brain controls the right side of the body. Now this part of the brain is really important. This is because it's responsible for consciousness and complex behaviours like intelligence, memory, language and vision. Different parts of the cerebrum are responsible for different things. Now let's talk about another part of the brain, the cerebellum. Well, the cerebellum is found at the back of the brain. The cerebellum is this structure here. So the cerebellum is really important because it's responsible for muscle coordination, posture, balance and involuntary movements. It's what allows you to do things like run. Now let's talk about the medulla oblongata. Well, the medulla oblongata is at the base of the brain and it's at the top of the spinal cord. So in this diagram, it's this region here. So what does it do? Well, it controls the unconscious or automatic actions. And these include breathing and the heart rate. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.